Also a Tablet Pro. And today we're looking at Photoshop. This is Photoshop 2018 CC and it's running on the Surface Pro X. So we're going to do um, kind of a full rundown of what this looks like, the pros and cons, what it can and can't do. And uh, we're going to try and do this in a semi-concise manner. So I'm going to try and make this video not run on forever. If you guys are looking at drawing programs for the Surface Pro X, I have another video out and we'll be coming out with another one that includes Clip Studio, uh, Sketchable, and a couple other apps that were not in the first video. Uh, check out those videos, I'll put the links in the description. If you guys are doing art or any type of creative work on a Surface Pro X uh, or using the touchscreen on a Surface device at all, this is a great channel for you, so please subscribe and uh, let's get on with the video. So this is Photoshop CC 2018 32-bit. So we're going to try to create a 10,000 by 10,000 pixel canvas, which is the standard that I use for uh, testing performance. Now this being an older version, actually I'm not sure if this has anything to do with it being an older version of Photoshop or not, but touch seems to be having some issues. Okay, I actually want to scale this down more. Scrubby Zoom, by the way, uh, is not enabled um, because of the graphics card um, compatibility issues. Okay, I want to change this number. to do our standard test here, which is with general brushes. We're going to use soft round, put the hardness at 70%, and the size all the way up to 5,000. And let's undo that. That is actually much better than I was expecting it to do. All right, I'm pretty impressed. Okay, so speed-wise, that is much, much faster than I was expecting, expecting it to be. I thought it was going to be extremely laggy. All right, let's move on to the next test. All right, so we are going to go ahead and zoom in. We're gonna go zoom in to 100%. Uh, we're going to change the brush. So let's go ahead over here and we're going to use the same brush, but we're going to change the pixel size down to, let's go 50 pixels and bring this down. There we go. All right. So there is a problem with actually all of the new surface devices. Oh, Right, that's right. This is not, undo is not set up the same way. Keyboard shortcuts. Uh, edit, undo, step backwards. We're going to do control Z, accept, okay. All right, so here, so here's, here's the problem with the Surface Pro 7 and the Surface Pro X. It has um, size issues with your palm on the screen. Again, the zoom, pinch the zoom is not working. But uh, let me demonstrate this real quickly. And this is something that I believe that they will fix. Uh, so I don't think this is an end all, but I think it's important to point it out. So here, drawing um, light to heavy and light to heavy. You can see a pretty normal ramp here. If I put my hand on the screen, you can see it's stepping and that produces um, 
some um, wild variations in the line, uh, which I'm not sure we'll be able to see. Here, let's go ahead and zoom in on this. So you can see that stepping right here. This should be smooth increments as opposed to um, like the legs on a bug. See, I knew I could describe it. All right, so as far as, as the line quality, it's straight, but it's getting these weird variations in the line because of this issue. Again, Surface Pro 7, Surface Pro 7 and Surface Pro X are both having the same problem. Again, I believe they'll fix it. As far as the jitter goes, jitter's fine. Pressure variation seems to be problematic when the when your hand is on the screen. Let's go ahead and, and um, zoom back out. And we'll try it with the palm off the screen, which is obviously harder to do a straight line. But you can see there's not that same jumping up and out in um, pressure. Okay, so that's our standard test there. You can see plenty fast and responsive. Um, let's zoom out and choose another brush. So when I was using the pixel brushes, the other ones that we have um, from Kyle, uh, let's go ahead and choose from here. Uh, I saw a lot of lag in uh, Photoshop on every machine I tested. So this was not um, just specific. Now, uh, 1,000 pixel brush is actually very large. So let's go ahead and uh, zoom in to 100%. And uh, let's bring the size of 700 to 100 pixels is pretty normal. And again, if you don't have a lot of size variation in the line, you're not going to notice some of these problems. Again, the zooming and panning is, is definitely not as smooth as I would like. Uh, and I, I don't know if that will until they update drivers. But as far as the line, I, you can see here, it's actually quite nice. I know there's going to be a lot of people who have questions about uh, photos, so I'm going to go ahead and do a photo section. I, I don't. I don't by any means consider myself an expert when it comes to photo manipulation in Photoshop or what people would be doing in Photoshop. I know how to use it, but this is not gonna be a great test, but I'll open a couple of files. It's probably important to point out, I did make some changes here in the settings um, in performance. I put the max, this was down here at 2000 something. I put the, the let Photoshop use the max available RAM. Uh, and you can see here, advanced use graphics processor. This is grayed out. And uh, until this is uh, detectable by Photoshop or by yeah by Photoshop until they can detect the Qualcomm chip and the graphics processor inside there this is not going to allow scrubby zoom or some of those advanced um, zooming features uh, or that color picker the HUD color picker that I use with the um, tablet pro artist pad by the way the artist pad does not work with the surface pro X yet and I'm not sure if we will be able to get it compatible so just keep that in mind uh, when you're looking at this. You're going to be using a keyboard for your shortcuts instead of the on-screen shortcuts. All right, so I've placed a uh, photo that I took on here. It's a 3,000 by 4,000 uh, size photo, 2 megabytes, which is not very big. I wanted to show you guys this first. Uh, let's zoom out. Let's bit screen. Um, this is of some beech wood, or just a tree trunk from uh, Lover's Key in Florida, which has some beautiful colors. All right, and let's 
places. Let's try to do a couple different things here. Um, and for those of you, again, who use Photoshop for uh, this type of work, uh, please give me some tests that I can run. Uh, let's just try blurring it just to see how long it takes to blur. Okay, let's say 7%. I'd like to have seen that preview earlier than that. I can't tell if it did anything. Oh, yes, it did. Okay, that seems to be pretty quick. Um, let's try another uh, adjustment. Let's go adjustments, levels. Okay, I'm seeing those apply very quickly. Alright, and let's undo that. And uh, let's see, I'm not sure what else to test. Alright, we're going to test a larger file. So we're going to leave this in here and we're going to add a file to it. Alright, so leaving this open, we're going to open another one. Always use this to open VSDs, yes. All right, so I'm not sure if you guys can see this very well. That's all right. So woods near my house. And this file, by the way, is um, 19 megabytes. And uh, the file itself here is 33. Let's go ahead and try some filters here. Okay, that was immediately applied. Uh, all right, so um, that's a larger file. Let me see if I can find a larger one still. All right, so I'm seeing some lag issues now. So I'm selecting, trying to select and move. I think, uh, again, a lot of it has to do with moving the canvas more than anything else. You can see here, this is pretty bad. All right, here's a larger file. This one's 93 megabytes. And these are not very large. I mean, really, I think a two or 300 megabyte file would be better. All right, so this is um, when I took in Hawaii. So here we have the three open. And um, again, I'm not sure what tests would be applicable for photographers. Um, and I usually use like the healing brush and that type of thing. Okay, so let's adjust. All 
All right, those seem to be applying themselves very quickly. Um, I'm not seeing any big problems yet. Again, I'm gonna need help from you guys to know what to test in uh, photo work uh, to see, um, well, to see if this will, is a viable option for people using Photoshop. Uh, all right, so I'm not gonna take any more of your time. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what tests you uh, would like me to do and uh, and I will try and run those. All right, uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, stay creative and uh, please subscribe if you have not subscribed yet.